toners and skin flooding. Let's make sure you're doing it the right way. You want to make sure you're getting the full use of your actives. If you choose to use toners and skin flooding, make sure that you're using them in the right order of the routine. We're going to go by the Chris Method Guide and we're going to go through a morning routine incorporating toners and skin flooding. I've already done my cleansing. I use this prequel cleanser, which is a really beautiful moisturizing formula. Exfoliate with the new Fix Mandelic Acid and Santella Toner. We're going to ditch the spray bottle and we're actually going to use it as a straight up toner for that exfoliation. It smells so good. My Space Serum. This is the last of it. Press these actives in. Alex, thank you for the skin stable vitamin C. So it could breeze through our actives part of the routine and get to the toners and skin flooding. May love copper peptides. I actually have the four categories of peptides and it's a nice, easy formula to layer. Cleanse, remove, and impact is done. Give it a couple of minutes to let it settle in and actually do the hard work. And now we're gonna go on to the saturate portion, which is where you start with your skin flooding. The way all the toners that I'm lining up are Tanya approved. Now what you're doing when you're skin flooding is you're basically taking that epidermal layer and you're loading it up with moisture. The reason why you don't wanna do this before your actives is because your actives aren't gonna to get to that penetration. You wanna use that penetration for your actives when your skin is dry and super thirsty. So now that you've actually let the actives go in and get beneath the epidermal layer, you're gonna soak the epidermal layer and that's what skin flooding is. And that's what we're gonna do with the toners and essences. Start with the In Your Face Blue Tansy. It's actually a yellow flower that gives a blue extract. It's so beautiful and you don't give it any time between steps, you really wanna keep putting the toners on until your skin gets to a point that it stops drinking because your skin will get to the point that it's thirsty until it's not. Then I'm gonna move to the Anua toner. This is a really good first or second toner in your routine. Then you're gonna move on to your essences. Tanya loves this toner. It's the Dr. Curacle Kombucha Toner. It's almost like a little milky substance. Again, you're layering. You're not giving them a ton of time to dry but you can see your skin will start to glisten because you're loading it up with moisture. And then you'll go to your ampules, which will be a little bit thicker. This one is from Centella Skin 1004. I actually haven't used all this. I actually spilled it at one point, but it's a really nice ampule. And then Tanya has some great videos on this, but when you stay within the category, this is an ampule and then this is an ampule. This one's a little bit thicker than this one. So I'm gonna use two ampules. I'm gonna layer this one after the thinner one. You break it off, you dump it out. This is actually my favorite ampule. It's thick and it smells so beautiful. Like it really starts to cross over into the serums. For T-E-A-S, toners, essences, ampules, and serums. That's so where you move on to your serums. I'm actually gonna use one by Intoxicated Cosmetics. This is actually a snake venom serum. I'm gonna do a separate video on this all together. It's actually keeping my forehead completely flat over the last week that I've been using it. Code for this on Intoxicated Cosmetics. And it's Christina25 face is completely flooded with moisture. You're going to seal that off with a moisturizer. I'm going to use my In Your Face Marine Pearl Cream and you can put that right over all of the toners and serums that you used. Give myself a little fix eye cream treat. Let that all dry and then you're going to move on to sunscreen once everything really feels like it's all soaked in. I just got this Murad sunscreen which I really like. It actually goes on with that really silky primer like texture. You know how the Super Goop has that like dry matte and I really like it because it doesn't pill and it almost feels like a primer. I was surprised at how much I like this. And that is how you use toners and skin flooding.